See this gap here? This is not your friend. That means you have a bad fitting backpack. Well, hey, we can do better than that. So in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to properly fit your backpack. Now that I have your attention, please like and subscribe to our channel here at Backpacking TV so that we can bring you fresh, awesome tips all the time. So before we get into it, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, okay, now that you've done it, let's go. Having a properly fitted backpack is a critical component of comfort on the backpacking trail. So I like to say that backpacking is an accumulative sport. So just because your pack might be comfortable for the first mile or two or feel good in that store, it's not necessarily going to feel good at mile 15, mile 25 on the trail, or after you just have a, a heavy load and a long day. So properly fitting your backpack is critical for maximizing your energy and making sure that you're enjoying yourself on the trail. Let's say you're starting out from zero. You know nothing about backpacks. You're standing at the wall in front of, in front of that wall in REI with all of the backpacking options, and uh, you're wondering what to get. So let's start there. Let's start from the base. First of all, it's really important to know what goes into sizing a backpack for a given frame. So you can be a six foot tall person and you might need a small framed backpack. You could be a six foot six person and need a medium sized backpack. And you might be a five foot six person and need a medium or a large frame backpack because it has to do with torso size and not necessarily exactly just based on how tall you are or how round you are perhaps. So uh, if you're first starting from that, one of the things that I really recommend is getting your torso measured. Now, there's a small, a medium, and a large of pretty much every backpacking backpack that's on the market. And in order to get the small or medium and large to fit for you, you need to know how long your torso is. So right here is where your, I think it's the C6, I'm not sure, I'm not a medical expert, but that knob that's kind of right at the base of your neck, that's where it's gonna be measured from down to just above your lumbar. That's the two points that are being measured with a tape measure, like you're getting tailored. You're getting tailored for your backpack as well so that this backpack fits exactly how you need it to. So uh, if you have an, say an 18 to 22 inch torso, then that means you are a medium sized torso length and that is the backpack that you need for you. And if you are under that 18 inches, you need a size small. And if you're over 22 inches, you need the size large. So therefore, this backpack is going to be built and constructed just for your frame. So that's really important, like step one, like we need to get the right backpack off that wall and onto you so that when you're at the trail, it's a lot easier to get everything else adjusted just right. Okay, so let's go from there. We have the frame that it, the frame of the backpack that fits your torso. Now there are straps all over the place on these backpacks, and it's important to know what they do because I see all the time people with their backpacks that just look off. And uh, while that may be fine for a, a really lightweight or a short mileage trip, if you're doing a big trip or certainly like a through hike, that is going to lead to a bad day for you. So. Let's start with some of the basics. You've got your hip belt, which is kind of like the main thing that is what makes a backpacking backpack a lot different from just kind of like your regular day pack or something like that. This is a beefy belt and uh, you want about, I like to say you need about 50% of that weight to be going right on your hips. And then the rest of that weight is gonna be distributed throughout the rest of your back and over your shoulders. So having this sit uh, up high, so right about, my belly button is right here. And then so I want this to be sitting nice and high and tight on the actual hips, not where my belt is. My belt is actually still below here, below the, the hip belts. And that's important. You don't really want the, you're not putting the hip belts exactly where you wear your pants belt because the fit is actually quite a bit different. You want to create a thing that's gonna be basically resting on top of your hips. And so that's where typically people don't like to cinch this down to the proper weight. And uh, that's a big mistake that I see a lot. And then so all of that weight is actually on their shoulders here. And we don't want that. And as you can see here, I now have kind of this big gap here. So that means something is off with, with, uh, with the way that my pack is fitting right now. And so one of the other first steps you can do is just simply cinching these guys down like so. And 
I actually still have a bit of a gap here. So that means that there's still something that's not quite adjusted quite right, and there is something else that I can do. So let's take this off for a second, and then let's look at what else is in a most backpacking backpacks for how to make it fit just right for you. So I've got the 50 liter Terra frame for Mystery Ranch here, and uh, Mystery Ranch makes a really cool framed backpack, and I really like some of the things that you can do with changing the, the frame style. But this is a kind of a, an across the board, not just a mystery range thing, but this is like a backpacking backpack thing, is adjusting the frame size of your backpack. But mystery range has done some cool things with their exact specific design that make it uh, easy and pretty intuitive. So here, I've kind of deconstructed the backpack a little bit. Uh, and then within this, where your back actually sits, there's this cool sheath that pulls out and then allows me to create a separation between that Velcro. So pretty much all backpacks have a little bit of Velcro back there. And then, then you can adjust the frame with by removing the Velcro and then replacing it at a different point. So here, I might need to pull this and make this, if I need to maximize it out, I'm at the top end of my my frame, say I'm a really tall guy or just right at the upper edge of a medium frame backpack. So maybe I'm gonna pull this out quite a ways and extend this frame up. This is pretty extreme, but, uh, but I actually need to shrink it just a little bit for it fitting me. I need to reduce, if you have a little bit of a gap in between where your shoulder strap is and your shoulder, that means you need to shrink that frame down a little bit. So that's what was happening for me. So I need to get this down kind of, mm, well, we can, we can test it. So let's see if that works. Put this back together. Okay, so I've actually had to adjust this two or three times just to really dial it in and get it exactly where I want it to be. And that might be the case for you. And then another important note is that when your backpack is not weighed down, it might actually fit and feel a little bit differently than when you have 45 pounds of backpacking gear in it. So it's possible that when you're actually fully loaded for the trail, you might need to do another tweak adjustment to get it dialed in just right. Okay, so now we have the torso length ready for you. And uh, that means that you know what your straps need to be doing from there. The rest of your adjustments are basically hip belt, shoulder straps, and then these often missed straps that are incredibly important. We'll get to those in just a second. Okay, so let's get, we've got your hip belt dialed in just right, not too tight, but you had, it's holding a good bit of the weight there. Now, now I'm dialing in my shoulder straps and trying to get that to feel just about right. And then an overlooked part is these guys here. What this is doing is it's either allowing the backpack to fall away from you or to really snug it in tight to your shoulders. Most people don't know that their pack is ill-fitting because these guys are moving around on them and they actually need adjustments throughout the trail. So just because you did at the trailhead five miles in, you might need to readjust this as the weight is kind of shifted around. Okay, so I want everything to be sucked in nice and tight so that that pack really cinches forward down to your shoulders. And you will notice this when you have 45 pounds of gear in your backpack, how that actually feels. So I like to say that uh, backpacks are like a lever and if all of the weight is far away from your back, it's going to pull you backwards and make you have a miserable time because that 40 pounds or 45 pounds is going to have the effect of a heavier weight of say 55 pounds because of the levering action of pulling you back backwards further away. So we don't wanna do that. So just pulling everything in, sucking it in nice and tight so everything has really got a nice, uh, nice weight right over your hips. That's kind of what you want. And then you don't have to be hunched when you're hiking and you're not being pulled backwards here either. Okay, what do you do with this buckle? A lot of people see me hiking without that buckled and they have questions about it. And uh, this is purely a comfort buckle. This is not a support strap buckle. What this can do is it can 
pull the straps away from your armpits so that as you're hiking, you're reducing that friction and making it more comfortable for your armpits. And that can be really important depending on your body type, especially it gives you some more latitude and freedom to get this to fit just right for you. But at the same time, it may constrict your breathing. And when you're hiking and backpacking on the trail, keeping your breath is pretty important. So I often have mine unbuckled, but that's strictly for comfort. And so just find what works for you. But one of the things that you really want to avoid is not having it ride up too high around your collarbones. Really bring that down. Uh, basically for me, uh, for most males, you want that to be just a little bit kind of above your nipples. And uh, for women, the fit can be a little bit different. So making sure it's still that it's riding usually above your chest. And that's usually the most important and uh, comfortable way to do that. So just thought I'd let you guys know about what this buckle is really for. So the next is really just getting your pack fit with the right stuff. We're gonna be talking about a whole video over there on just packing your backpack right. So that is the next step. So make sure you tune into that video because that's coming up here. Uh, but if, uh, if you are still just wondering what you can do, uh, we've got blog posts as well that'll be helpful for, for that. So check it out. That link will be below the video here. And uh, yeah, I think that that is really the, the critical things. It's, it's pretty basic. It's not doing rocket science here, but still I see people doing it wrong all the time. So just make sure that you have a comfortable backpack that fits you, fits your body type, and not all packs are gonna be the same for your body type. So making sure that when you are trying it on, that it fits the broadness of your shoulders, maybe the wideness or how narrow your hips are, making sure that you get a backpack that fits for you and then doing those things to do all the micro adjustments that when you're actually on the trail, it works for you. I hope you found this video helpful and that you really got something out of it, especially if you're a new backpacker, that this might have solved some problems for you before you get out there. So stick around, subscribe to our videos. I know that we have lots of stuff for you, uh, especially for people learning how to do this, how to, how to backpack, how to camp. And uh, so make sure that you turn on those notifications and stick around for more. This is Backpacking TV. I'm Eric Hansen. Thanks so much for watching.